Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we're going to do a quick Loopy Pro tutorial on how to add your MIDI sequences to Loopy Pro and have them played um, and recorded into one of your loop slots here. So the first thing we're going to do is when you open it, you're probably presented with something that looks like this. So you want to be clicking on your mixer and then opening this here so you can see your effects pre fader, post fader, etc., destinations and sends. First thing we're going to do is go add and then add a MIDI here. And this will give us give you all your sequences and things that are MIDI based uh, on your iPad. And then we're going to choose Riffer because it's a MIDI sequencer. And if we look at here at destinations now, if we hit plus destinations, you're only going to see the virtual MIDI out in the audio fuse. OK, so we need to add uh, something for Riffer to play here down at this little plus. So we'll go plus add audio units. And then we can choose uh, one of the audio units that you have on your iPad. So in my case, I'm going to use the OBXD, and then you'll get something that looks like this. Um, right, OK, so now when we hit destination here, like this, we can choose OBXD because it will be in our MIDI destinations, and you'll see it there underneath Riffer, and you'll also see it there as its own thing. Now, if we tap on this and open it up, we can add the little key. Let's go full screen just for a sec. Tap the little keyboard and that's the default sound. Well, I want to um, in decrease the attack on that so it's more punchy. So, so that'll do. So I'm going to close the OBXD. So that's the sound I'm going to use. And now we need to hook it up to Riffer, which we have done here via our destinations. So now, first, I'm going to import now a, a, a drum loop before we start messing with this. So I'm going to go to here and I'm going to go media, document picker, and I should be already on the right page. So this is just, this is a 90 BPM four bar drum loop in A minor. So I'm going to choose this and I'm going to import that. And it's going to ask me where I'd like to put it. So I'm going to put it there and that's done. So we can go finish. And now you'll see if I press play, it's going to be in this first slot here. I'm just going to lower the volume a little bit. I'm going to highlight this so it plays. OK. So now I'm going to press play again. Turn that down a little bit. And if I open Riffer now, You'll see that Riffer is actually running. So I'm going to go full screen again for this. Now I happen to know that it's in A minor, so I'll select A and minor. And all I need to do now is what you would normally do is just generate some notes or draw some notes. In. We'll turn the volume down for that. Okay. So that's cool. So all we need to do is make sure that we tap on the right um, slot where we'd like Riffer to record OB uh, the OBXD into. So it's quite simple. Just check when you go in to your clip settings, the main clip settings that you have on. Let's see. This is how I have it set up. I have auto count out and I have that switched on and then counting quantization I have set to master and I have this set to master and that's basically all you need to do and what will happen then is when we tap this it will wait till it comes around to its next clock sequence and then it'll start recording and it will record for eight bars or we can have it set to record for four bars two bars whatever we can choose that there the bpm has been detected by loopy pro from the loop we imported as 90 bpm so that's fine so we can close that now. So what we need to do is play this. And when we're ready, we can just tap on one of these slots. Well, I'll wait till it gets round to close to the end. Here we go. 
And now it's going to record that for its four bars and then it will stop. Okay, so now we can actually remove the OBX synth because we've already recorded the audio in or we can just have it disconnected from um, Riffer if we just go remove like this and we remove this. So Riffer is now not playing the OBXD. And if we will long hold on Riffer, we can delete that as well. And we don't even need this, but if we play it now, You're not hearing the actual synth anymore. In fact, we can remove it. So now you've got your sequence recorded in and it's really, really easy. Don't forget also as well, you can tap on this, select both of those and control them the same. So that's basically how you get your MIDI sequences in there to be played by Loopy Pro and recorded in. Now, of course, you don't need to record them in. You could just use them as a performance tool if you wanted to. But once you've recorded them in, it means that you can then kind of just get rid of them and disconnect them and stuff like that. Or you could have left uh, Riffer in there, chosen another synth, recorded another loop in, etc, etc. And of course, now if you want to, you can add your effects. So if we solo the synth, tap an effect, maybe add... Um, a band delay. Basically, add whatever you like. Cool beans. Anyway, guys, there you go. That was really, really just a quick one. Uh, I think with Loopy Pro, because it can appear complex at times, uh, shorter tutorials are probably best. For showing you like individual options so this was quite a good one to start with there'll be a link in uh, it'll probably pop up at the top for my live stream i did last night which kind of went over the very basics for the whole app but i think these screen recorded tutorials are probably more clear as well anyway there you go thank you very very much for watching and i will see you later tara loopy pro how to import your well how to set up your midi sequences for loopy pro Thank you very much and I'll see you later. Ta-da.